So, good morning everyone. My name is Helena Lazarnic. Well, just like all of us, I'm also here to share something that I'm passionate about, hoping it could be useful to the world of voice professionals. Body and voice. It's a program of body and exercises specially made for voice professionals. My personal experience with body technique began with back pain. I started a training under the supervision of its innovator, Anna Maria Gagodicin-Kravina, who is here today with me. Uh, compared to other kinds of exercises that I tried so far, I noticed some important advantages and almost immediately the idea about a program of exercises which would be helpful for vocal professionals came to me. First of all, because I consider every possible help to psychophysical support for singers very important. And the adequate physical training as part of voice habilitation of the utmost importance. If habilitation would be creating good habits to prevent problems from developing, then it would be a better choice than rehabilitation. My numerous colleagues singers have also shown interest in this subject since their experiences vary all the way from physically inactive to even overtrained individuals who, for example, strengthen their six packs uh, too much and thus usually sing with force, which can be even harmful for the voice. Generally speaking, most successful singers do have some kind of fitness routine which they try to follow every day. I advocate this one, body technique. Especially after getting a good insight into it through my own education at Kinesiology Academy of Body Technique. As for the previous research on this subject, the influence of physical activity on singing activity, not many publications can be found but according to some of them, coming from relevant sources, there are different kinds of physical workout that can be quite helpful for improving better functioning of our, of our instrument. Each has some benefits. It's about choosing the right one that corresponds to your personal condition and deficits in order to achieve balance in your body. As for the singer's body, Aerobic and neuromuscular coordination exercises have shown better results than muscular conditioning exercises. It appears that aerobic workout positively impacts the respiratory driving force for voice production. The singer has an easier time generating increased airflow during voicing, resulting in a healthy increase in sound pressure level. Though a purely physical workout is not adequate to prepare the voice for classical performance. Critical for performance is the fine tuning and balancing across the respiratory, laryngeal and resonance systems. And this can only be achieved with vocalization exercises, facilitating coordination within and across the physiological systems involved in the complex art of bel canto. As for the optimal timing of a workout in relation to performance, just in short, uh, workout on the day of performance, no, except some kind of aerobic workout, but with at least two hour break until the performance. Stretching on the day of the performance in order to just warm up the body, yes. So why body technique was so special? It's quite a challenge to briefly present present body technique, but I decided to do it this way. There, I pointed out some elements that are treated with special attention and approach within body technique's philosophy. And I chose to quote its innovator with several descriptions that I find very interesting. First, body technique looks at the movement as a reflection of physical, emotional, mental and energetic presence. Second, integrating three planes of movement in a non-impact approach is favorable for fascial, joint and muscle tissue as well as cardiorespiratory functions. And third, the principle of integrity emphasizes the fractal approach and the power from the inner to the outer where in addition to superficial muscles, we are aware 
of the function of deep muscle layers such as feet, pelvic floor and other stabilizers that help us in proper standing, walking, sitting and keep us vital and youthful. As a singer, voice teacher and uh, body instructor, I do believe that uh, body techniques way of treating human body and mind can make the difference. Uh, body and voice is a set of exercises inspired by body technique principles and philosophy, specially made for voice professionals in order to psychophysically prepare them for the vocal activity. Uh, so exercises are done directly before singing activity in order to warm up the body and to raise vital energy. This physical exercise is not a substitute for vocal technique or vocal practice. The vocal technique remains the most important, but it's crucial to understand that the singer's body is his instrument. And whatever improves the instrument helps the voice. As for the short-term benefit, uh, so helping the vocal system to function better by optimally toning the targeted muscles, and by raising vital energy. As for the long-term benefit, achieving uh, long-term sustainability and endurance. Advantages would be, it's a moderate exercise that does not lead to increased muscle fatigue. It lasts 15 minutes, so it's very practical to include in the daily routines. As we all know, we don't have time. <laughs> and uh, exercises are easy to understand but to master them, it takes longer because of many important details. And non-discriminatory, they can be performed by all age groups and physical constitutions. Uh, after completing my education at Kinesiology Academy of Body Technique and experimenting body and voice exercises with, with my a cappella ensemble and their very good feedback, we decided to make some research. So why research and who are we? <laughs> well, just like great voice teacher and scientist Scott McCoy said, science informs art and vice versa. Science lets us know why of the what and the how. As for the we, we are, me, myself and I, <laughs> Innovator of body technique, Anna Maria Jagodic Rukavina, who helped me enormously in creating these exercises. And I invited the great phoniatrician, Anna Janic Hajibegovic, to join us. And as an interdisciplinary team, we conducted a pilot study in order to investigate the hypothesized impact of holistic approach of body technique moderate exercise on vocal apparatus function. 14 healthy participants have been included in the study, five male, nine female. Four of them medical students and 10 professional classical singers. Median age was 25.5. All participants were tested at clinical department of ENT and had a neck surgery at University Hospital Center Zagreb. Participants have signed informed consent and filled self-evaluation questionnaire vitality index. Vitality index describes the subjective vitality state when a person feels alive and awake with more energy at his or her disposal. Participants underwent measurement of chest expansion around the level of nipple and 10th rib and pelvic expansion using pelvimeter. Also, we did uh, spirometry. Lingwave's voice protocol was used for standard voice assessment and all these parameters that you can see were measured and analyzed. Then participants performed for the first time physical exercises, body and voice, for 15 minutes mentored by official trainer. All prior measurements were taken before and after the physical exercise. Results show significant increase of chest and pelvic expansion after exercise. So you can see a little bit. And then 
We have results with questioners. Both questioners, vitality quotient and subjective vitality, generally showed better results after exercising, and some parameters turned out to be statistically significant, so we pointed them out here. As for the vitality quotient, it's the feeling of better posture, the stronger abdomen, less pain in the body, and the greater satisfaction with one's own physical appearance. Within the subjective vitality scale, two statements had statistically significant increase. I nearly always feel awake and alert, and I feel energized. Within the voice acoustic analysis, statistically significant are higher maximum frequency and increased voice range. As for lower minimum frequency and higher dysphonia severity index, they're almost statistically important, and we suppose it will be the case when we investigate it on a larger number of respondents. Voice irregularity showed a significant decrease. Uh, our plan for future research is to cover and compare the following categories, men, women, non-singers, professional singers, other voice professionals, and to see the difference between them taking in consideration their physical activity too. Also, to examine the impact of body and voice exercises after certain periods of exercising. I'm very grateful that Anna Maria Jagodic Rukavina is here with me today so that you can hear a word from the innovator herself. And moreover, I would ask her to teach you some body and voice exercises. So be prepared. After this, we are going to exercise. <laughs> and like I said, it's non-discriminatory. Everybody can do it. Uh, Anna Maria, thank you for coming. And uh, the stage is yours. <laughs> thank you very much. This was great, Vedrana. I loved it. Uh, thank you very much. Just briefly about body technique because I can talk about it days and days. <laughs> so, because this is what I live, this is what came through me, not from my left brain, from my, you know, um, um, uh, attention that I want to innovate something. It, is, it was just so powerful that uh, after 25 years um, exercising and having uh, really fantastic results with clients, um, I, we, we say it's a philosophy. So practice, practicing body technique, um, it adapts to your condition, offering a complete answer to your well-being because we're all different, right? So you're not a number you are not a protocol, okay? So this is the first thing that I want to share with you. Then, uh, body technique has um, eight specific health laws. So we are always focusing on balancing all the systems in a holistic way to always have the health status in the first place that, that is measured and that people really feel. So that there, these health laws are integrated in each training to improve one's health and refine values and potentials of the human being as a whole. Human being as a whole. We are not interested in, like Vedrana said, a six pack and how do you, I don't know, how do your butt looks like? Yeah, okay, it's 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 coming, but it's not the first thing. Um, then one hour of exercise. I'm just talking generally now, uh, can improve your overall health and vitality. We measured it. It's not just something that I'm saying. We measured it through uh, questionnaires and, and other tests. Um, it shapes and tones your body. So actually, you look at yourself in the mirror after maybe a month, and you you see and you feel difference. You, you feel that your fascia, your, your toned muscles, um, just you know feel and you see it in a different way. What is happening? You are reconstructing your body, reconstructing it, and it's possible. Nevertheless, what age you are, okay? Uh, corrects and rejuvenates breathing and posture because, it, because the, breath, the breath is our inner movement. If we are not connected with the inner movement and inner space of our body, how can we project it outside? And of course, it makes you ready to vitality. So, 
uh, I, I, I'm not here to talk. I'm here to share with you. Uh, are you ready to just try some of these exercises? Okay, you heard Vedrana before and uh, Vedrana, can you just uh, put the, the slide before? Body technique, what, what is uh, um, the grounding, the posture, the Vedrana? Okay, so I would like you to stand upright and show me the way you're standing, not just me, I'm not testing you. Just try to feel your body as an upright ob object or geometric uh, uh, figure, okay? So, what you feel is just your experience. This is your experience, but my colleague will help me here, first like this. Mm -hmm. I want you to imagine, so this is your upright posture, okay? Please start a stand with both feet width apart, but not like 70% on one side, 50-50, okay? Um, and then this is just a tube that is representing your inner unit. Look at it, okay? Try to imagine your inner tube. It starts, I hope, with your face, does it start? Ask yourself, what did you, what, when I said your inner tube, where was it? Was it only here? Was it here? Where was your inner tube? But I just draw something, it's funny face, okay? So the inner tube also consists of face muscles. Okay, what is this? Yeah. The neck, okay, so what is this? The torical, the torical spine and the rib cage. Okay, so what is this? The diaphragm, okay. And what is this? The pelvic floor. Is this the end? Where is the end? Okay, so we are connected with our feet. Okay, can you see these errors? Okay, uh, one is going down and the other one is going up. From where? From the feet. Okay, so you know that grounding is so important. But you see, can you imagine a caterpillar, you know, the, the caterpillar? And then these are all compartments have to be connected, they're interconnected because the muscles, the fascia, the, the, the fluid, the energy, it all has to flow from the highest to the lowest part of our body, from, from in to out, right? So this is theory, so show me how, how to do that. Huh? How? Okay, this makes sense. I know I can see it from your eyes, but okay, show me now. So, I will show you some exercises. Because uh, I heard from Vedrana that more than 400 muscles, 400, yeah? More than 400 muscles are engaged in singing, yes? But these muscles that uh, we are talking about, they cannot be measured because they're so small. They're so deep inside, we cannot measure them. But from our point of view and from our perspective and, and experience, these muscles are the key to help this inner unit function optimally. And just one more question before we start exercising. Imagine this, this inner unit that you have and you have it here also, is your map, is your secret map where your diamond is hidden. We all have our diamonds inside, right? And diamonds are always hidden in a power spot because it's really the most potent place in our body. Show me with your hands, where do you feel? Where is your power spot in your body? Do you understand my question? Just give yourself some time. Where is your power spot? Show me, I just, I'm just very curious to see that because you will see that it will be different. Okay, front, back, okay, center of the body, pelvic region, heart, uh, throat. You have two power spots, okay? okay. You have also two power spots, okay, front and back. This is very interesting, why? Because I will share with you something. Um, from my three years of experience, I was investigating the most potent uh, vitality center in our body. And I always thought it was our heart because we are connected, you know, to, but it's not. This is the window. But the power spot is here. 
Nevertheless, you feel other power because we have a lot of other powers, but health of the pelvic region, the potency of that spot, this is your light. And if we don't engage the light, and if we don't embrace it, if we don't understand how is it generating, how, how, how do you project it outside of yourself without restrictions, stress, and uh, you know, then you need to perform with balance and you have to enjoy it at the same time and it has to be beneficial for you and for your body. Then it is invigorating for the audience and for yourself. Okay, should we start? Okay. I would love that you, for example, take off your shoes, but I, 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 for grounding, this would be much better. If you do that, I will take mine too. Okay, so we're taking off, great. I love it. Taking shoes off, it's a good sign. Okay, so first exercise, we have in our protocol, we have 15. Vedrana, could you just give me a slide? So we have 15 of exercises that we tested. And first one is called the cobra. So I need you to focus on the ground now. I need you to open your toes as much as you can, if you can. So widen them. You can look at your feet and see if they're aligned. Okay? And then this is your anchor, okay? Your feet are your anchor. And then just stay upright like you started in the beginning. Breathe in. And uh, yeah, tell me. Uh, in the beginning, I asked you to, st to stand upright. So I said, you are now anchored with your feet because you widened your toes, you focused on them. And then after that, you just Lift yourself up. Okay. So the cobra movement looks like this. Can you hear me like this? Huh? I need my two, two hands. Good. So, you know the cobra movement? It's not going just up. It's going slightly left, right. It's pulsating left, right, left, right. So the tube, the middle tube that you all imagined in yourself has to have this inner pulsation. But the, in, um, the intention is to push the ground down to give you power to uplift the caterpillar, the tube as much as you can up or as high as it can go during one exhalation. So when you exhale, you do that. I will show you. So breathe in, you're totally relaxed. Wide spread your fingers. And then when you breathe out, you push with your fingers down. Like I'm coming behind your back and I'm pulling your head and your neck is getting uh, taller and taller and you should feel something toning from within. And when you are off your uh, exhalation, you just relax and breathe in again. Try to use also your hands. Don't stay totally um, relaxed here. So try to have two opposite forces. One with your feet that is going down, two with your hands that is going down, the second one, and the main one is going the opposite way, in the middle, okay? So let's do it together a few times, uh, three times, okay? So breathe in, open your toes, press down, with your hands too, rise up, rise up, rise up. Uh, breathe out through your mouth, not through your nose. And again, release, breathe in. Close your eyes, maybe you can feel it better then. So imagine that tube, the inner, the inner tube that you have and try to stretch it vertically. Press the ground, use the force of the ground. Push your hands down and imagine that some something or somebody is lifting you. It is very important to do it with cobra visualization. So cobra is going like this. Don't do it. It's not like that. You have to find a space. You have to unlock because usually, you know, we do just this and this is your op maximum. It's not. Because it's your uh, unconscious ma maximum. You, you need to find more space, okay? So one more time, your maximum, uh, uh, the, the, the best um, 
uh, demonstration, okay? Okay, so let me see that. Breathe in, open your toes, and while you breathe out, press the ground. Let me see that. Breathe out through the mouth, up, 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 rise the energy up, push the ground down with your feet, with your hands down, neck is getting uh, taller and taller, up, 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 and release. Okay, so it's not so, I cannot see it, but you should feel it. You should feel something inside getting stretched in a vertical uh, maneuver. Yes, sir? did you feel it? Okay. The second exercise is for cleansing and to, uh, to just, you know, this inner tube that is, um, that is your power spot, but it also has to be cleansed or cleaned. How to do that? The exercise is called uh, the tree plane wave breathing. So one hand is down, the other hand is up. So belly and the chest. Wave looks like this. This is familiar for you, I'm sure. So breathing in here first and then here in the chest. This is breathing in, but also my rib cage is opening and my toracal spine is opening. But when I breathe out, I push the lower hand. <sighs> And, and then my head acts like a um, weight. It's a weight for, for my neck. So breathe in. It's a wave. Okay, try to use your feet. So the pressure goes from the feet, from the ground up. Rise up like a wave rolling into that tube and then down. Breathing through your mouth, through your nose. And breathing out through the mouth. Try to find that wave. Try to find that wave. Just one more time. Feel that tube, that filling and the air is passing through it. Okay, now we will alternate the same movement but on the, in another plane. So breathe in, but when you breathe out, you're actually leaning, you're hanging on one side. The head is very, very heavy. Flex your knees, try to be as heavy as you can. This is the exhalation point. When you breathe in, you push the ground, breathe in. On the other side. Heavy head, heavy head, breathe out, breathe out. So no air in the tube, nothing is moving anymore. You are heavy. And then again, from the ground, belly, chest, center, the tube. Again, on the other side, breathe out from the belly, from the chest, heavy head is pulling you to the side. Don't forget your, um, your knees. You, you see, you see, knees are very important. Knees, head is very heavy. Why? Because you have to feel it. Breathe in the middle, come on. One more time. Heavy, 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 heavy. Feel it and come up. And then we have the third plane. Which is the third plane? If we did this and we did this, what is missing? The transverse plane. So what are we gonna do? I will move this. So you're here, breathe in and take it out. Okay, like this. So brush, brush, this is your brush. Brush, you have to, feel, no, 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 no. You have to touch your body and you have to, you see, I took everything out because, uh, so like this and, and your spine is moving. Your head is moving. Okay, usually we do it in a coordinated manner like this. But this is the first time you're doing it. You can do three, one side, three other side. Okay, and you will feel here immediately like more circulation uh, um, uh, here, huh? like warmth. Okay, let's do it three, three. Breathe in and again, breathe in here. One more time, breathe in. Okay, alternate. We have, again, breathe in. Rotate, breathe in. Use your legs down. Rotate your head too. Okay, stop. 
So this was 3D breathing. It was not just wave in the beginning. We had 3D movement, which is very, very important. Okay, then spilling water, our power spot. We will put our hands down, pelvic region, okay? So when you breathe in, you will imagine you have filters here. You will open these filters. You will open the sphincters. You will pour the water out. You will spill it out, breathing in. Open the anal sphincter too. Okay, don't, don't, don't be here. Okay, upright, relaxed. And then when you breathe out, first what are you gonna do? You will push the ground to engage the energy from the ground to pull it up to the sphincters to pull the water back in your, what? In the center of your power spot, the pelvic. And then that water wants to go where? What do you think if you had to sink? Up. All right, so this is a bowl of water. Bowl is moving, okay, anterior, posterior. We have breathing in. Try to open your sphincters there. Try to do it. And then my toes are activated now. <sighs> Try to focus the spot where you feel that engagement, the inner tube. Where is it toned and then you don't feel it anymore. I will ask you this three times, you do it, and then you will show me up to here, up to here, up to here, okay? Three times, test yourself. Okay, is it working? <laughs> you understand the exercise? Okay, so let's do it. Concentrate, be relaxed, and breathe in, spill the water out, open the sphincters, breathe out, press the ground, pull the water in, and pull it through the tube, out, out. Feel it. Where is it going? Again, breathe in. I'm showing it here. And from the ground up, from the ground up, use the exhalation as a powerful channel to pull that water out. It's not just the feet. The feet and the, 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 um, the mouth. One more time. Breathe in. Now test yourself. Where do you feel it? Ground, pull the water up, pull it up, pull it up. Show me, where? Where is the water coming? All the way to the head? Great, head, I love you, head. Here, cheeks, chest, huh? So, uh, I didn't see, super, super, super. This is, you know, we are very advanced group, I love it. Uh, usually, you know, people say, oh, 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 I don't feel anything. What water? <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, I'm very glad to see that. But for example, you're stuck here. For example, you have to cleanse it. We have exercises for that. And then you will continue with this exercise. You will repeat it. And then imagine what happens. The, the water goes out, okay? And then we have our famous exercise called butterfly. So crisscross your fingers. We need to invigorate our spine because it is, of course, the source of our uh, vertical position. The, so I need you to put it not on your neck, behind your head. Hmm? And then you see, these are the wings of a butterfly. Now you're a butterfly, not a caterpillar anymore, you see? You understand the connection? <laughs> so breathe in, open your wings, watch your shoulder, watch your shoulder. Mm -hmm. So the holes have to be as big as they can be. Breathe in and chest is getting in front and uh, uh, wi as wide as it can be. So breathing in here, push with your head back. Okay, and then down with the chin, breathe out. Close the wings, close the wings, flex your knees, pull the belly button in, remember that water there, press with your hands, your head, to feel what? Now you tell me. To feel what? Why are you pressing your head here? To feel what? The tube. To feel the tube, to feel stretching of your back, to feel stretching of over tensed muscles where? Are you tensed here? Tell me. Who is not tensed here? <laughs> okay, so the butterfly is very uh, important remedy to relax the higher hypertoned muscles to balance everything down there.
Because why is this hypertone? Because obviously something is hypotone. I'm showing something here. Again, three times. Three times butterfly, three, okay? Uh, hands a bit higher, yes? Shoulders down. Breathe in, open up, wide, wide, wide chest. Through the nose, always exhale through the mouth. Uh, flex down, try to use your belly button getting in. Press with your hands, your head, stretch that neck. Close your wings and then come up, breathe in. So let's make that as a movement that there has no end and beginning. So it's always moving, breathe out, and I'm a wave. This butterfly is enjoying some music that it is hearing. <laughs> Press it. Listen to your voice while you're exhaling. Breathe in, open up, and breathe out. Squat down, use your inner unit. Press the ground when you are rising up. Press the ground. You're not rising, uh, you're not opening from the chest. You're opening from the connection of the ground. This is the wave that I want you to feel. And then the butterfly will look like this. Look at me just for a second, breathe in and down. You see, it's not a m maneuver that you do. Zack, zack, zack. It's a, uh, you, understand? you have to feel it. You have to feel it, it's a flow. Sorry, you want me to show it once more? Okay, so uh, with, uh, with the vocal uh, the description? Okay, breathing in here, opening the chest, and breathe out. Push the ground, breathe in. Open the chest as much as you can, press the ground and press the head and with the wave come up and you feel this light totally, totally uh, engaged then in the whole body, not just in the tube anymore. It's not in the tube anymore. Uh, okay, I have five minutes more, I saw you. <laughs> uh, and then, oh my God, this is exercise. It's called 3D amoeba elevator. How do you like this? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Okay, so now you're not a butterfly anymore, you're an amoeba. Amoeba, you know amoeba? <laughs> So you're standing like this. When you breathe in, you're not focusing anymore on the tube. You know where you know now where's the tube and you, you felt it. I need you to feel the surface of your skin like an amoeba that wants to get wider and wider and wider. So you are doing it with your hands. Imagine that your lungs are here and here and here and here and here. So you're breathing in. Opening the pelvic floor, every, you're just, you know, like a balloon. This is an amoeba part, amoeba, breathing in through the nose. Breathing out, am I grounding myself? Yes. I'm pulling the energy through the tube, yes, yes. And then it's going where? Up. I'm using my face muscles, I'm uh, moving my, um, how do you say, mouth like this. <sighs> You see? So, breathe in. Ground. Mouth. As powerful as you can. You see my, my fingers? Again, amoeba. Ground, through the tube. Face. Look at this one, look at this one. I'll show another one. The same thing, breathing in. But here, look at this one. Look at my face, and I'm pushing away, huh? like this. So, breathe in, and. So I'm extending my face and my whole body. I have the third one over to go, we don't have time. <laughs> so this is the amoeba. So we have to just feel everything, not just the tube, the whole body through the inner breath. And then the excavator, I love this one. Put your hands here. When you breathe in, you will use your inner muscles of your toes and your feet, lifting yourself up, 
holding the equilibrium, putting the chin down as much as you can, and breathe in through your nose, stretching the back of the tube and the back. Close your, close, close, close your mouth. So like this, not, uh, not like this, close and hold. Lift, uh, feel your coughs there, feel your cough there, there. If you are losing, then you're not using. If you're losing, okay. And then, and then flex, flex, chin up, a lower lip over and breathe out. Do you feel here? So this is pressing a bit so that you can charge your vocal cords and the, what, what, um, um, larynx. larynx, thank you. Yes, this is, I'm not a singer, so I don't know that. So let's do it together. Once again, breathe in. Use it, don't lose it, and breathe out. Lower lip over, and one more time. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel it, this excavator, you're, you're trying to sense in this exercise the pulse of the posterior and the anterior part of you. Because you have to invigorate everything three in 3D motion, not just the vocal cords. And my last exercise, please give me time for that one. I know, yeah, you see? It's called opening of the heart. Where is your heart? It is here. So you have to reach to, to everybody. You have to reach to, to three kilometers, okay, for, further away. So you from here, you are uh, opening a big door, breathing in. But while you're breathing in, you're also hugging yourself and hugging your shoulder blades, the, the inner side of your shoulder blades. Flex yourself, flex yourself, flex your knees and heavy head. You have to breathe in the back part of your heart. You understand? So you have to breathe in here and do that. Look at this. Brush it out. Just look at me one time, please. Because it's very important. Look, from here. Breathe in. I don't have breath anymore because I'm so open here, yeah? And then, <sighs> huh? So breathing in, 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 breathing, 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 breathing and out, bam! Oh, uh, now two times that I see you. Okay, go. And open up, open up, open up, push, 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 push. open your heart. Hug yourself, no air anymore, and then, <sighs> Open the back part, one more time, finished. Go, and breathe in, open up as much as you can, hug yourself with that breath in, and out, brush yourself. And then close your eyes, and feel. First tell me, frequency, is it uplifted? Heart frequency, is it uplifted? Yes, okay, you charge yourself, you're empowered the connection between the inner and the outer unit. You grounded yourself and you used every single layer of the tube in these seven exercises. And this was just a quick thing. I hope you liked it. Yes.